Um, so I'm on a cough drop, everybody, so I'm sorry about that. But hey, it's Pastor Phil here from Cuenca, Ecuador. We're on our first day of ministry in the city. This morning, we had the first day of Vacation Bible School, and we had 70 children show up, which is a record for their first day. That number will grow every day. And uh, four of those kids made a commitment to follow Jesus. So we saw four salvations this morning. We had a quick lunch. And now I'm actually going to be able to walk you around the inside of our clinic. And you can get a live look or, or an archive look if you see it later about uh, uh, kind of what our team is doing this afternoon at the medical clinic. We are at Uncion, the television station we've been working with down here. And uh, I'll walk you around real, real quick. I won't get up real close just because we don't want any of the patients to feel uptight. But I'm going to spin this around and... Uh, I'll walk you through beginning at the back where our doctors and nurses are working, Adam and Melissa, and then we'll go over to triage and then over to the pharmacy. So here we go. All right. This is where our doctors are treating our patients. So here is Adam conducting an, uh, conducting an assessment on a little girl that came in and she's not feeling well. And then right next door to Adam is Melissa. And they're each working with interpreters. Here's Melissa. Melissa's also treating, uh, looks like she's treating an entire family. And so kind of the way that this works is um, they'll see one of our doctors. I'm showing you backwards. This is actually kind of step three, or this is step two. They'll see one of our doctors and nurses. And then they'll come over here to our pharmacy. We're right now holding it down in the pharmacy is, there's Becky. Charmaine's holding it down in the pharmacy right now. Yes. Charmaine, we're live. Anybody you want to say hi to back home? Hi, Javi. Yeah, oh, she's got a Javi love. <laughs> but this is where they'll come for their prescriptions. She'll fill this. And then Katie, Katie, we're live. Katie, we're live. Katie's hi. here. Um, she's here at the, she's our optometrist for the day. She's helping getting people. This is my crew. This is your crew. Viviana. Okay. Hola. Isabella. Isabella, yes. Isabella was very good with uh, fanning me with a fan over lunch when I was overheating. It was very nice. But we also are able to provide reading glasses. And about what percentage of our patients are asking for reading glasses? Would you say half or more? Yeah, I, like a surprising amount. So, so like a half lot. or more, we give them just basic readers. And these are, uh, you know, threes, twos, and ones. And then... Um, Chelsea actually got some great pictures of people reading for the first time and then uh, really being excited about that. So this is actually the first step over here. This is triage. This is where Wayne and, um, and Steph are taking an initial assessment, getting their vitals, finding out what their main symptoms are. Moses is translating for us today. So here they are uh, treating the family here. Get an idea of what's going on here. So actually, the way the flow works is they'll come through the door, they'll be triaged, they'll go back here to our nurses, and then over here to our pharmacy, who right now are taking selfies, and then, they will, and then they'll come over here and get their glasses. I'll give you an idea on what's going on up there. Here's Shanae. Shanae, we're live. We are live. Okay. We're live. All the way from Ecuador. All the way from Ecuador. Shanae is our chief, and she is kind of the gatekeeper, literally. This is the gate. And she keeps it. So, <laughs> and then uh, you can get an idea of the, the weight going on out here. Down here a little farther, you will see uh, you'll see Cheryl. Cheryl's way down there. You can see her a little bit. Cheryl and Susan are helping to pre-triage. So anybody that struggle that might already be. Um, let me turn around and talk to me. So anybody that might have. Uh, blood sugar issues, which is a problem down here. We try and figure that out ahead of time so that if they need uh, special types of medication, they can come inside here and we can get that for them. Hey, Joan. Hi, Wayne. Uh, good to see you guys. Glad you're watching. So once again, it's kind of a live update from what's going on here at the clinic. Melissa, Adam, Chelsea getting some good pictures for us inside. Stephanie, Moses, and Wayne. Charmaine and I are working the pharmacy. Shanae is guarding the gates, and then we have Cheryl and Susan and uh, Catherine are outside uh, working on pre triage. So, um, quick recap 
We had uh, 70 kids at VBS this morning in four salvations, which was awesome. They said that's a record for their first day. That number climbs every day as word of mouth spreads through the city. So we'll probably have several hundred kids at VBS by Wednesday. So um, really a good day so far. Everybody's feeling pretty good. Everybody's healthy. We appreciate your prayers. Um, tonight we will be ministering at um, kind of a, we'll be ministering actually at the April Project, which is Leah Diaz's ministry that we support for uh, people coming out. It's a recovery ministry for people coming out of drug and alcohol um, addiction. And so we'll be sharing there tonight, a couple hours from now. So good first day at the clinic. Um, I was able to get Wi-Fi here so I can update you live. So please keep praying for us. We miss you. We love you. Everybody's doing great and can't wait to tell you our stories when we get home. God bless you guys. We'll check in a little bit later.